What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel Lika Malamu Lalona and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning into yet another episode of Everything Lalona where we talk about everything and anything child. Now if you are new here, welcome baby. I really hope that you'll enjoy this video and that will make you hit that little subscribe button somewhere over here. And if you are a regular subscriber, a gang, gang, day one, what's good, what's up, what it's you, I really hope that you are well and that you are taking care of yourself. Okay? I'm not gonna sit here and like tell you how much I'm back and, 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 and because bitch you already said that we are back with bangs and bangs and bangs and bangs okay so today we are back with another story time and the story time I was watching Darius official and he was talking about a sneaky link no, 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 no. and I was like wait 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 I also have this experience so I'm gonna be telling you guys the story of my sneaky link and my sneaky link was a colleague and it got messy yeah because one thing about office romances they should just be that an office romance inga pull me outside the office because uzonya okay so today again we are having a drink so today we are having um what is this thing called black crown gin and tonic so i saw this from a friend of mine actually who was promoting it and i was like let me just give this a try so today we are having black crown gin and tonic it's so cold like you can literally see it but yabanda so it's actually good this is actually good okay so without wasting any of your time let's get into the video so as mentioned that this story time is about my sneaky link with a co-worker or a colleague and this happened like a couple of years ago so when this happened this literally i don't think the story time is going to be long because this thing happened like in a period of like a month yeah well it was like a month or some or some couple of weeks away too but it wasn't a long time so what happened was i had gotten a new job right and i went to this company which was based in hyde park so I got a new job and I was starting with like my induction training. Wada 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 wada. Also, there's a there's, there's also a a huge influencer that I worked with when she was still in corporate, right? So she and I worked together and we were like doing the whole training and stuff together. There was like four of us, me and her, and there were two other white guys. So we get to this company and when I get there, I notice uh, this company is very white, okay? Like people there, it was literally And when we got there, this influencer and I were like the only black people there, yeah? Bro? So we started our training and things were nice. Things were going well where we had an amazing trainer. Brilliant guy, brilliant guy. He was so nice. Um, so we started our training. I think it was on a Monday. So let's say it was on a Monday. Start with our training. We we do the training. Da, 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 da. Now, you know, with 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 the company I was working for, ne? On Friday, like every Friday, there would be a mass meeting for everyone in the company. So every department, we would all meet in like this huge um um a um boardroom or hall or whatever you call it so we would we would all meet there on fridays and there would be this meeting where people were sharing testimonials um there was a whole lot going on on fridays yeah well, but it was basically a nice meeting where too. we all got to like interact with each other and people got to like talk and there was i don't i don't know how to explain it but it was a mass meeting on friday now our first friday day we were all called in we all attended this meeting yeah and then um people were sharing the testimonies about we're talking about how grateful they are to be employees at this company and 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 now there was one guy one white guy who also shared a testimony 
So this guy got there and was like talking about how on his first day of working at this company, on his first day, um, he was getting evicted out of his apartment. He was, his furniture was being repossessed. Um, he was basically drowning in debt. Yeah, you know? he was drowning in debt. Things weren't going well for him, and he had just gotten off drugs. He needs a man. He wish he mess. He has a mess. That guy's life was a mess. Basically, it was a mess. So he's talking about how all of that happened and when he worked here he pushed himself to be like the best employee of the month on his first month of working here he was employee of the month he was what whatever superstar of the month whatever so he then goes on to say i'm so grateful that right now as i'm talking to you guys i have finalized a deal where i have I had bought a house worth two million. I bought my fiance a, a, a ring, an engagement ring from Browns, and I bought her a car. I've got my own car. So basically, he is making money and he's so grateful to be working here. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, bro? So when he's talking there about his fiance, he keeps referring to the fiance as my fiance. There's no she, her, him he or whatever it's my fiance my fiance my fiance or my partner or my partner my partner and for me whenever someone speaks like that if i would see my boyfriend my wife my husband my partner my partner the suspect now for example the suspect one same sex same sex so in my head i i i i suspected that this guy was LGBTQIA plus, you understand? I suspect that this guy was queer. So, so now let me describe this guy. This guy was wearing on that day really tight skinny pants. You ever skinny jeans, black skinny jeans, a white shirt. He had those One Direction hairstyles. You know? he had dark hair and styling gel so it was like slick back and it was cut very nice he looked very good don't get me wrong he looked very 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 good so i see him and i'm like he's quite a catch yeah boy? but because this guy i suspect that this guy might be engaged to another man because he kept referring to the fiance as my fiance and not her or i bought her he was, um, a car, excuse me. I, excuse me. I bought her a car. I bought her a ring. He said, I bought my fiance a ring. I bought my fiance a car. So that led me to believe that this guy was engaged to another man. So I did not really pay attention to him because you guys know already that I am not one to fool with a guy that has a man. And in funi umdu onom fana. If unandombi, that's another question. That is another conversation on its own. So we, our training continues like um, we are working. So now I keep bumping into this guy at the kitchen. So whenever we're having like lunch or tea, we would go to the kitchen and eat in, at the kitchen. So I kept bumping into him and we started having conversations. Now our conversations were never anything like that made me believe Ukuba. Hmm, we had fun and all, yeah, bo? because we were literally just talking about everything and anything, yeah, well, sharp. So one time he comes into into the kitchen and I'm there with um, a friend of mine who I work with and like Sikhil at the kitchen. He comes in and we're having chats and chats and chats and chats. And then I ask him, so how's your fiance doing? He's like, oh, she's fine. She's great. So now, okay, if fiance was she, now it's game on. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I did not think that far. I did not think that far. So I'm like, oh, okay. It's actually a woman, the fiance. Sharp. Now, because our conversations have never been like sexual or flirty or anything, one thing about me, I'm very real. Not the real. If I see a guy and the guy is giving me straight vibes, trust me, I am not going to crush on that person. Because why? Like, that's literally just 
me applying for a heartbreak and and if we had break no one wants heartbreak and it so fine okay um i've basically now established that this guy is actually engaged to a woman not a man like i thought man oh, okay that's actually interesting sure now our friendship or our friendship yes our friendship grows because we would like have lunch together um he would invite me and the influencer girl that um like he would invite us to like drinks after work and 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 so in my head i was like he's just a nice guy yeah bo sharp now one time one time we were having conversations at the kitchen as always as usual we had the conversations and the chats are nice and then we i don't know how we got to where we stay yeah bo we start talk about but oh we sala pwe now we no sala pwe we no sala so at the time i was still staying at the north like in the north so at the time i i was still staying in the north and he says <coughs> oh my god so he says he stays in north riding and i'm like where in north riding Arthur Strat I'm like yo that's actually a street away from where I stay yeah bro so um he's like really yeah so now we start so because we live like a street away from each other he's like okay cool let me give you a lift so he becomes someone that gives me a lift frequently to and from work yeah bro he would pick me up in the morning we drive together we go to work and then come back together from work sharp so he he would always 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 drop me off at the gate and pick me up from the gate yeah bro excuse me so what that happened oh now we we've never we've never flirted guys guys listen him and i we were not flirting we were like calling to the buddy we were calling friend we were calling yeah bro we were not flirting at all this one time this one time it was on a friday i remember it was on a friday we leaving work and we talking up in between and he's like oh his fiance went home to porch and he's going to be alone for the weekend blah 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 he doesn't know what he's going to do when he gets home no 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 yeah bro shut so now he says so i'm like yo now i'm going to get home and i'm going to drink i'm going to smoke i'm going to yeah bro he's like you smoke i'm like i smoke he's like what do you smoke i'm like yeah bro this tweaker and he's like really i'm like yeah he's like he wants some i'm like cool let's go to my place we get to my place and i roll up a joint i take out some alcohol we start drinking yeah bom start drinking we start drinking we start drinking we smoke we smoke we smoke we smoke now we sitting i'm sitting like him and i are watching cuz i had one couch and one couch and then i had an occasional chair there and then i had my 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 tv console there yeah bom so him and i are sitting watching tv and i don't know what we were watching and 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 as we were watching tv he's like complaining about he's like oh my neck my back yeah bro come about my neck my back my neck my back my neck my back so i'm like do you want a massage he's like yo bro like that would be amazing i'm like was a lie so he sits so i'm sitting on the sofa right and then apaka me azo hlala phansi yena so he sits down and So his head is like on my crotch and I'm like massaging him here I'm giving him like a shoulder massage neck massage type of thing and then he's like oh don't you want to do my back so I'm like if you want me to do your back you'll have to lie on your stomach yeah bom so he's like okay cool so remember we are drunk and high at this time we are drunk and high oh my god I didn't give this guy a name ah. what are what are we going to name him What are we gonna name him? We're gonna name him Josh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's the first one that that came, Josh. So his name is Josh. Yeah, bro. So I'm like telling Josh about now. If you want me to give you a back massage, you will have to lie on your stomach and probably have to take off your shirt or your t-shirt. He's like, oh, cool. It's fine. So he takes off his t-shirt, and I'm like, body, body, Josh. Where is this body coming from? Because I've never seen so Josh was the was one of these people who 
was always formal. Like his clothing, he always wore formal. It's either, even on Fridays, he would wear a shirt and like skinny jeans or whatever, but he would always be formal-ish. Nike, I was always in t-shirts. I was always in like jeans and a t-shirt and that's it. And if I'm wearing a shirt, it's not gonna be formal, it's gonna be a casual shirt. Oh, Josh liked wearing formal shirts. So I never saw his body body like that because his shirts went tight, yeah, boy. So he takes off his shirt and I'm like, it's getting daddy and I like it, yeah, boy. So he lies on his stomach and I'm busy massaging him. So because I am massaging oh, Josh with no oil or, or what, what, so I can see that his skin is tanning. You know, his skin is tanning. His skin is turning red. Yeah, but because there's no, there's a lot of friction because there's no oil. So I'm like, dude, do you want me to get the oil put, um, fast and then I'll come and give you a proper back massage? Yeah, but he's like, yeah, please, 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 please. Fine. I stand up, I go get the oil, I come back and I'm giving him and I'm giving him a massage, I'm rubbing him down. Now there's oil. So I'm like literally massaging him you understand so he's making all those sounds like oh mm, oh yeah boy. so now i'm like ah, wait, now stop making the sounds imagine about the one who pass out take when they up and he's like i so can let them think what they think yeah boy. um so we laugh about it and i'm rubbing him down i'm rubbing him down i'm rubbing him down Tuku tuku Josh, while i'm on top of him right because i'm on top of him and massaging him up, up, up him all while I'm on top of him, he turns around and I'm still on top of him. So now I'm literally on his crotch. You understand? I'm sitting on his crotch now because he turned around. He's like, oh, wow, you're so good at this. And I'm like, but why did you turn? Yeah, boy, he laughs. And he tries to sit up while I am on top of him. So when he sits up, he holds me by my waist and then he sits up. We understand? So now we are literally face to face obus on obus. and he's like oh i've never had a massage like that from someone who's not a professional i'm like darling i'm a professional at every fucking thing so i'm like i'm like listen listen bro now one thing about me one thing about me i will know how to use my hands he's like what can those hands do i'm like what do you mean he's, and then while we're busy having that interaction or that conversation which was very awkward because his face was literally here and my face was here he moves in close and i could see that josh wants to kiss me so obviously namke i saw his body and i'm already sitting on top of him and i'm like let's go so i move in for a kiss as well we start kissing we start kissing we kiss we kiss we kiss we kiss okay so remember i am sitting on top of him so now while I'm sitting on top of him, I can feel him getting hard right underneath me. So at this point in time, because I'm at my place, I've already changed. So I put on shorts and a t-shirt, yeah boy. So I can feel him getting hard underneath me. We kiss, we kiss, we kiss, we kiss, we kiss, we kiss. And then I push him back and he lies on his back. And then obviously one thing about me, I'm gonna open the zipper. Cause Josh at the time was already topless, you understand? So I kind of scoot over and i open his zip i pull down his pants and a mandigo guys like i don't know like i didn't expect a white guy to be packing like that i did not expect a white guy to be packing like that so yeah that's a blind ever <laughs> and i was like oh my god but one thing about me mama did not raise no bitch so i went down and i gave him head gave him head and fana like you could see that he was enjoying it because even like his toes were going like this even his toes were going like that and he was so verbal and i tell you during all of this during all of this and I can see him getting tense and tense and tense and tense and tense and then go obvious, obvious. One kukula, one kukula, one gena ngomlo mona. I started eating the booty like it's groceries, okay? So now in my head, I'm like, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Josh knows what he's doing, hey? Josh knows what the fuck he's doing. So, obviously, I'm not gonna be asking things during this moment. And there was penetration, and there was someone who's coming, and the other one is coming, and end of story. Ya pela la mean. So we were done, and we now lay there on some. What the fuck did you just do? Ya mo? We both laugh. So I'm like, Josh, you said to me you were engaged. He's like, but I am. And I'm like, then what are we doing? He's like, what do you mean? What are we doing? I'm like, Josh, but what are we doing? He's like, tell me you didn't like that. I'm like, I can't tell you that I didn't like it because I did like it. So, so we like, we were so casual about it to a point where it scared me because I'm thinking to myself, this man is a man who's soon to be married and he's out here traveling with me. And I'm like, why do I always find myself in these situations? But in the stand, the guys in team. So now I'm, I'm like, so now we're laying there and he's like, ah, no man, let me just go home, blah, 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 blah. And he puts on his clothes, gets dressed and he leaves. Now, Josh and I had each other's numbers. This thing is making me burp. So Josh and I had each other's numbers because he would have to call me when he is picking me up in the morning, blah, 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 blah. So I, so he had my number, I had his number. So now we were not people who were chatting on WhatsApp, only that evening. That evening, we started talking on WhatsApp. So we started talking, he's like, whoa, that was amazing. I'm like, that was actually really amazing. And we start, um, we start um, 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 sending each other naughty texts and, 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 and. Then at work, went back to work on Monday, he picks me up and there were, you could now tell but that there's chemistry between him and I. It's not just that buddy buddy that was there before. So we get to work and then I go to where I'm working, he goes to his other side. Get tea time, he brings me a muffin and coffee and I'm like, okay. Okay, cool. And then he calls me before, la um, before lunch, just like, what do you want to eat? Because I'm about to go and get lunch, da, da 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 I'm like, no, anything, whatever that you are getting, get me. So now, with Josh started doing things at the office which made other people notice. So, Kuba, hey man, you two are starting to get really close. Yeah, bro? Because he would, he would just come to, to like our office and he would just sit there, we would just talk and people are like, Oh, Josh is not this kind of person. So what is it with you that's making him act like this? Yeah, bro? And I was like, I don't know. That time I know very well what's going on. Oh, Josh and I are hooking up. And we did hook up again after that Friday. We did hook up again. Um, but it was literally, we went from work, went to my place, babsed, and then he went home because his fiance was home. Babsed, and then he went home. But now in the office, oh, Josh is like, turning slowly turning into my work husband because he's bringing me lunch bringing me breakfast and after work he'd say let's go out for um for for, for like drinks since she a man she it told me i'm lay a influencer so now i start noticing when i'm no man oh josh is actually catching feelings and i call i call cute i call cute i call cute to do to do to get because ah uh -uh, guys ah 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 if it's just a sneaky link, let's just do that. Don't catch feelings up in this page. Because why? Why? Why are you catching feelings? Oh yeah, Bob? So, during this time, when I started working at that company, I had ended a relationship with an ex. Yeah, Bob? Um, this ex and I were dating for the longest time when I was still in Pretoria. And we were together for like quite some time. So we, would, we had recently broken up. And now this guy, my ex, was starting to like talk to me again. So he was talking to me again and was like, um, I wanna see you because after we broke up, we never saw each other. So he's like, I wanna see you, da 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 da. And he, he was like making advances at me. And one thing about me, I do not go back to an ex, yeah, boy. So, but with this guy, it was different because I really had a soft spot for him. And it was me who fucked up. That's why the relationship ended. It was me who fucked up. Like I always do, right? So 
um this guy and i were like talking again and josh was slowly catching feelings and i was like it's not cute it's not cute it's not cute at all so um this guy one time was like send me your office um send me your office um um, um, um address yeah boy i'm like okay sharp i send him my office address and then i get a call from him he's like i am here please come outside now the office park or the company i was working for had two buildings one building standing like this and the other one standing like this so i was on this end josh was on the side yeah boy and here there was like a courtyard type of thing excuse me so visitors would sometimes park right in front of the building yeah boy so this guy was parked outside the building my ex was parked outside my building and i walked out i came out and i went to his car now when i got to his car this guy had gotten like a gift pack hamper you yeah, one of those hampers that that you don't need kamala you hamper Hey, what you hamper? It's a gift hamper or what? Yeah, it's a hamper. I, I, I think so. He has that basket thing with fruits, chocolates, um, there's sparkling wine, there's chips, there's yeah, but a whole lot of goodies inside them. He has that and he has a bouquet of flowers. Yeah, but so he he's like he 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 comes out and he comes out of the car when he sees me walk comes out of the car he grabs those things and when i get him i'm like oh my god so because this guy and i dated for the longest time when i got to him instinctly is it instinctly is that is that a word instinctly okay i give him a hug and i kiss him yeah boy so when after i kiss this guy i look and i see josh yeah boy josh is at the door and i'm like but in my head i i, I don't okay 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 let me be honest with me and let me be honest with you guys so in my head i was like shit but josh and i weren't dating him and i were just hooking up right so but i knew that josh really liked me because of what he was doing for me and i was like shit so i continued talking to my ex we talk we talk we talk we talk like we were literally standing outside the car and just talking and then he's like okay no i gotta leave he gives me a hug and he kisses me again he leaves and then i go back into the office and you know most awesome siblings in the end you like come back with like flowers and a gift and whatever i'm about to like Whoo, what's going on yeah, but, so there was like commotion when i when i when i went back into the office there was like commotion people were like applauding oh, yeah. Yeah, well, and i was like mm, stop it stop it it's embarrassing it's embarrassing now this was after tea time josh then calls me for like during lunch and says can we please talk okay i'm like cool sharp so i am like okay cool so now our normal hanging out spot was the kitchen and at the kitchen it's not just him and i it was me him um the influencer girl it was other colleagues who i was like kind of friends with yeah boy <coughs> so i go to the kitchen during lunch and i wait for him he doesn't come through so i'm like where is he i call him i'm like where are you he's like please come outside instead yeah boy come outside please come to the car let's can we talk in the car I'm like, oh, you serious, son? And in my head, I kind of knew what it was about. So I then go to Josh's car because I know where he parked. We parked there in the morning. So I go to I go to his car, get into into the car, and then he starts telling me how he feels. It's like, bro, like I did not think that this would happen, but I really like you, and. I I I really want to be with you. No 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 no. So my question was, what about your fiance? Because you are engaged and you live with her. You've got a child together. What about her? He's like, yo, I like one thing I can't do is to leave her because I really love her. Yeah, boy. And when uh, you uh, you've been so exciting and 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 I've been getting, I've been enjoying getting to know you and yeah, boy her and i we have so much history um we've been together for such a long time i can't leave her but i really want to be with you as well you're the pambana up so now in i'm like but josh you know that you and i were just hooking up that's all it was you and i were just hooking up and 
If you caught feelings, you should have told me this. Okay, you should have told me this. Ugh, I'm being distracted because there's like a huge ass fly. So basically, Josh and I like are having this conversation in the car. I'm telling him that ah, uh, uh, I didn't catch feelings, nah, yeah, bo? because where now you are someone else's man and you are engaged. So what is this going to say about me? Because you and I work in the same company. If I'm like, we will not be able to hide it. Is our vela? Is our vela? Is our vela? It already is very People already can see what's going on. People are already speculating. Bana, hey, man, not Josh. Why is Josh? Like this towards Ulelo. Why is he so nice? Why is he bringing him lunch? Why is he bringing him breakfast? Why is he bringing him snacks? Like, what is it? What's going on? So basically, I tell him that I am not, I don't, I can't promise him anything. I can't promise him my loyalty because I can't offer him. So I'm like, also, so now he's like telling me how how heartbroken he was when he saw me with my with that guy i'm like no that's the ex i've told you about no 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 no. so he came he brought me a gift da, 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 da. he's like i was so heartbroken especially when i was walking out and i saw you guys kiss i'm like i'm so sorry but what do you want me to do not date and date you yeah well i was like it's not gonna happen it's not going to happen so after that conversation Things between him and I became very cold and I was like, I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. There's so, <sighs> there's so many flies. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But, but I, 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 things became very cold between him and I. I stopped like taking, oh, he stopped giving me a ride or I stopped using his car. Yeah, but I stopped I went back to using taxis because he was just like every day Manu Josh would just tell me how much he likes me how much he wants to be with me I was like mm -mm, booty, ah, ah, booty, ah, ah. it was nice when there were no feelings involved we were just babsing and that was it and I think I remained with the company for just a month and I was like mm, that culture yeah the racism here, I don't like. So I left the company like shortly after I joined them because I was like, ah, ah, son, I can't do it, man. I can't do it. We, like, you can see if favoritism, it's just they favor the whites and because there's these two black people, it's, it, was, it, was, it was just not giving what it was supposed to give. So I left the company and when I left the company, Josh and I stopped talking. So I don't even know where he is what is doing i don't even think i still have his number but that was like a long time ago i haven't changed my number since then but we've never had any conversation since then so yeah that was the story of my sneaky link who caught feelings yeah so if you enjoyed this video please give it a huge 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 thumbs up comments really go a long way um because the algorithm the algorithm so if you are watching this video and you are at this point please do give it a thumbs up please do leave a comment down below and it could be literally about anything and if in everything so yeah guys i will see you on my next video bye, -bye.